Well, hi there, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this uh, Monday morning. Brand new shortened work week for most of you. It is a, uh, a pretty quiet start to our morning. We have more clouds than what's being, being depicted here on Futurecast, just to kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at right now here's you look at your inf infrared satellite and radar imagery right now your thickest clouds are right uh, in the eastern part of the state right here really from about grand island hastings eastward so these areas seeing some thicker clouds but otherwise these are mostly upper level cirrus clouds out there this morning and they'll actually thin out as the day goes on the thicker clouds will shift to the east as a warm front moves across the rest of the state that frontal boundary should be in eastern nebraska by later on today right about here so most of us will be fairly mild and fairly sunny towards the end of the day. Winds not too strong out of a northwesterly direction. The winds will quickly turn southerly this evening, but they won't pick up a whole lot overnight. It'll stay mostly clear. They do begin to pick up early tomorrow morning, and then watch how the winds pick up during the day tomorrow. South winds are gonna be fairly blustery across central and eastern Nebraska tomorrow. Now, the other thing I'll show you, there is a surface boundary, a surface trough right here, and that's gonna separate blustery southerly winds with breezy westerly winds out here and that's going to lead to even warmer everybody's going to warm up tomorrow we're all going to be nice and warm but your warmest temperatures will be out here to the west with more of those west winds now as we get into uh tomorrow night then the winds still a little bit breezy but the big thing is we're going to see an increase in cloud cover out there and we're also going to see a cold front come through that frontal boundary by early on wednesday morning at six o'clock is going to be right about there south winds out ahead of it north and northwest winds behind it and those winds are going to pick up on your wednesday so we're going to see another day of some strong winds but with more clouds and colder temperatures so not the best of wednesdays on the way although it looks rather dry at this point the other thing i want to point to real quick and we're going to back it up to tuesday afternoon here notice the strong winds here uh dry weather in the northwest that's going to lead to a higher risk of fire danger right in here. So there is going to be a fire weather warning, a red flag warning out for these locations for tomorrow, uh, more than likely here. That's the big concern the next couple of days. It has been very dry lately. We have not seen very much moisture. And on these windier days, there's going to be an elevated fire risk for most locations out there. So it's something to keep in mind because there's not a lot of moisture in our forecast in the days ahead. But what there is, there, there's going to be mild temperatures out there. Today looking good, 50s some low and mid 60s out west struggling to 50 farther east because of that warm front kind of lifting through that front's going to be in the far eastern part of the state uh, but really an overall pretty decent day on the way tonight we'll drop back into the uh, mid to upper 20s low to mid 30s for overnight lows and then for tomorrow we'll see temperatures soar into the 60s mid and upper 60s for most of us perhaps closer to 70 in some spots in the southwest and the northwest but again we pay the price we do have to deal with some stronger winds but you know what I think it's worth it, in my opinion, when you're, getting, when you're getting temperatures up there in the 60s. And then as we look towards tomorrow night, we're actually looking at a fairly decent night temperature-wise as that front starts to move through. The wind's keeping temperatures up a little bit. So 30s and 40s for overnight lows. The cold air doesn't really truly come in until uh, Wednesday. And even then, it's not overly cold. Uh, the cold air is off to the northwest. So you see temperatures in the 40s in the northwest, 50s in the southeast. But the wind's going to be very blustery probably the most unpleasant day of the forecast even though for most of us thanksgiving thursday will probably be colder it's not going to be as windy and it'll be sunnier so wednesday might be the worst uh, worst of the two days wednesday and thursday there in fact as we look at this long range forecast you can see it again the big drop in temperatures on wednesday more clouds around windy conditions those strong north northwest winds winds both tuesday and wednesday are going to be gusting up near 35 miles per hour so each day is going to be windy it's just one's going to be from the south that's Tuesday, and then one day the winds are going to be from the north, and that's Wednesday. The winds will lighten up for Wednesday night, and so we're down to 21 Thursday morning. So a cold start to our Thanksgiving morning, a somewhat chilly day, but average highs on Thanksgiving are going to be right on 47-ish. So we're only talking a degree or two below average for this time of the year. We'll enjoy some sunshine. Friday morning, I know a lot of people don't do the shopping that they used to do early on Friday morning, Black Friday morning, but if you do happen to be heading out early on Friday, whatever stores are still left out there again that's a big change that's one thing i've noticed a lot in the last 10 years there aren't as many stores out there there aren't as many places to go on black friday if you do do the early morning shopping but if you are one of those that heads out early on black friday right around the freezing point not too bad out there and then friday looks fantastic mostly sunny skies 
uh, high temperatures into the 60s. Saturday is kind of a transition day. We should still get to the lower 60s, but it will turn breezy as a cold front comes through, and that front's going to cool us back a little bit on Sunday. Temperatures topping out in the uh, mid 50s. One thing before I move on to the 10 day forecast here, we've got playoff football today and tomorrow. Today's games, all, all games involve a local team here in the local four viewing area. Now, tonight's game is a 7 15 kickoff. That's in class B. That's between Aurora and Bennington. Uh, temperatures will probably be down there in the 40s, lower 40s. That's not bad. Again, we've had way worse games there in Memorial Stadium for high school championship football. You have the uh, games earlier in the day, the 10-15 kickoff. That is in Class D1 between Howells Dodge and Cross County. Um, that's a local team there, Cross County is. So that, uh, that game... Temperature-wise, I think it'll be probably in the lower 40s, somewhere in the 40s during the game. That's not bad. And then the afternoon game, temperature's going to be in the 50s, the game between Kennesaw and Sand Hills Thedford. Two really good teams there in Class D2, eight-man football there. So it should be great weather there for that game this afternoon in Lincoln. Temperatures there will be topping out lower 50s, so it's not going to be as warm in Lincoln, but still lower 50s. So I think it'll be up 40s, lower 50s during that afternoon game. Uh, there in the capital city um, games tomorrow going on real quick here the weather should be okay it's going to be windy for the games though in uh, Lincoln um, you have the C1 C2 game and uh, the uh, class A game at night the C2 game is between Norfolk Catholic and Arch Archbishop Bergen so those are not two local teams here that's the uh, early game I believe no that's the afternoon game I'm sorry the C1 game is between Pierce and Columbus Lakeview, so two teams that are technically outside of our viewing area as well. That's the early game. And then the A game is also two teams that are not in our viewing area. It's Gretna and Omaha West Side Should be still a good game, though. Um, but that's the evening game tomorrow. Uh, but all those games are going to deal with some strong winds, but nice temperatures out there. Real quick, let's move on to the seven-day forecast before I let you all go. Look at that. I mean, we are talking about above average temperatures for almost the entire forecast all the way through December 1st. Again, Wednesday we drop. It's going to be colder. It's going to be cloudier. It's going to be windy. But even that temperature is a little bit above average. Thursday is the one day where we'll be slightly below average, but we'll see plenty of sunshine and not a whole lot of wind. So Thanksgiving Thursday, not terrible, but, ter terrible, but otherwise, that's a good-looking forecast right there. The biggest concern, dry weather, fire danger is going to be at a, an elevated level some of those days, especially those windier days. All right, well, I better let you all go. I want to thank you all for watching on this Monday morning. I hope you have a good day and a good rest of your week. We'll talk to you on Tuesday. Take care and God bless. Bye.